Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video of Los Angeles Chargers franchise, and we are in week 11. Last time we played, we faced the, what's his team's name? I just thought it was Raiders. We faced the Raiders, and we beat them. The score looked really easy, but in terms of a game sense, it didn't feel as easy as other teams. They were probably one of the worst, the second worst team we faced behind the Jets, and... I feel like they had more capability offensively, de defensively. I feel like we could be stopped by them. But in this week, we are facing the dominant defense in the Denver Broncos. I don't know why I blanked on that when it really shows the team right there. It shows it right in my face. So we are facing an X-Factor linebacker, probably Le'Veon Bell or Bradley Chubb or one of those guys. Uh, we're going to neutralize them. Not going to try to disrespect them or disregard them or whatever else those other options were. So what is it gonna tell us to do? Beat Von Miller, rack up 400 yards combined with zero turnovers. I believe we could do the 400 yards. Not really. Well, we could, cause we, in past games, well, most recent games, we have been um, getting about, I wanna say, what? um Like 200 plus yards a game. I said, what is this called? Well, I'm not blanking so much. Uh, let's discuss some contracts. Let's just get right into it. I still have yet to offer Melvin Ingram a contract, and we're in week 9. I mean, week 11. Most of these players I don't want to offer on. Because I really don't want to spend the money. But I will spend the money on uh, Isaiah Rocho. Or Rocho. Or I don't know how you say your name, bro. Seriously. He's going to accept that. Of course you can't wait for next year. You love the money, don't you? Uh, Dan Freeney. You're young. Well, you're not that young, but you still are young. I'll, I'll give you like a two year. How you feel about that? Oh yeah, you can't wait either. And Darius Jennings, we'll keep you. We we will keep you. Yeah, you really don't do nothing amazing, but you could be like a return man for us or something. I might put you there because you have a decent, you have really good speed, but you can't really uh, run routes for a wide receiver. So. I'll give you a three year. Up the bonus. I mean, up the salary, lower the bonus. Of course you are. And yeah, we're going to definitely put you at return, man. We get into upgrades. Start with Kenneth Murray. As we know, we want to go into already. We want to build him into a pass coverage linebacker. Because um, if we do, he has good um, rushing moves. Not really. Let me not even lie. Like, you do have good basic stuff. Like, tackle, pursuit, and hit power are good, and you have good speed. But if you just up that coverage ability, you, you, you'll have it, man. And I think that's what we need to work to. Going to go to pass code. That put improves into a 76 overall. And plus two to man, plus two to um, zone. We like it. Uh, Rayshon Jenkins. What do you need? Uh, you, you're, you're horrible in, um, man. And you're not so good in zone either. What do you really do? I don't know. Uh, we're gonna go for zone. Please give us at least plus two on zone. And that's exactly what it does. Love it. We're gonna run you at the slot. See what that does. That actually gives you a plus two. Interesting. Plus one awareness and plus four for man coverage. That's huge. Joe Reed. I think we already know what we want for you. I kind of want to go into your scheme fit. So you could get more. I think that's what I'm going to do. I put you at 72, but you're playing up with morale. And I like it. it. It basically just makes you a jump ball receiver. That puts you up to a 99. Do you get another ability at 90? No. You have to be an X Factor, I believe. So you only get two abilities at Superstar? That's kind of... Eh. Um, I did make slider changes. I up like, a few stats of theirs. A few stats. Shoot. Yeah, I think it... I don't know. I, I up stuff on them. And put a little of our stuff down. And we'll see how this week goes. This probably will be the toughest team we had to face this season. Other than the Chiefs. And, 
yeah, let's hope we can walk out of here with a W. Uh, this is going to be a tough game offensively for us. Uh, I believe we're going to... This is going to be our most strugglesome game offensively. Well, it should be. And defensively for us, we have to dominate. I believe we have to show why we are the top-ranked defense in this league. As you see, we are 9-0. and um, Yeah, they're fighting for a wild card. And... Kansas City is in the hunt. You would think all that stuff would be backwards. <laughs> like, we wouldn't be in the playoffs. Kansas City would be a division leader, and Broncos would be in the hunt. Crazy how life works out that way. Justin Herbert, uh, over 2,000 yards, uh, almost 20 touchdowns and 7 picks. Uh, for the last couple of weeks, we haven't been throwing picks, but last week he went back to his old self. But he did have a decent game in terms of yards, but in terms of handling the ball and turnovers, not so good. Just a bad pass. Oh, man. Oh, man. This does not feel good. There we go. There we go. This could be a touchdown, possibly. Nope. He catches him. That was a good screen pass. Good blocks. Blocks actually performed the way I wanted them to. A seven yard up up and three. This is bad. Oh my god, he almost canceled that. Uh, can't have that, man. Can't have that. Bad. Bad. Tough offensive goal that time, but um, it wasn't the worst. So we can't be too mad at it. We're still gonna get three on this. So once again, can't be too mad at it. But um, I was gonna say have to be better, but we we were all right. We were all right, honestly. So I believe the quarterback is Drew Locke. Um, I don't think he's going to be having a good season. He's having an all right season. Nothing incredible, but the yards are low, the touchdowns are low, the interceptions are low. So I guess he's just having a low year. Like, what is this? Good defense, kind of, but come on, we, we, we need a, a turnover on that one. He's almost breaking a fucking tackle, come on. Take a number of decent chunk of yards on that one. They all played back for some reason. See what we can get. Hunter Henry might be in a one-on-one -on -one situation. He kind of was. But we're not going to take it. Ah, I should have just kept running to the right. I would have had it. There we go. We're turning him up on his, these passes now. They might force us to pass it this whole game. Because the run's just not really getting anywhere. At least we're at one or two early on. And just like that, not much. Getting about a yard on that. There we go. Justin Jackson rushing in on that one. First rushing touchdown of the day. He's going to put a lead 10 to zip. Let's go. Ah. Oh my god. We just got burned right there. And he breaks the fucking tackle. I don't know where I'm at. I also lost. Oh, come on, you gotta go for the pick on that. That was a screen, I didn't even notice. And he breaks a fucking tackle. I just realized that's how I'm Melvin Gordon. Facing his old team, interesting, interesting. 
What was that? Was a weird defensive tactic. Like he pushed him out way before he had a chance to catch it. Got to be good in coverage right here. There we go. There we go. They can get three right here. That's all right. I'm gonna put the lead three to ten. Um, we didn't play that good of defense on that last one. It was decent enough, but you know, we could always be better. Now we're in a tough situation right here. Not really. Joshua Kelly picking up 15 on that one. And Mike Williams is hurt. Uh, this is this is bad. This is bad. Let's go. Getting good yards on that. I believe that was Joe Reed on the catch. No, it wasn't. Um, John Ross then. Broken ribs. Mike Williams is out. Oh, this is bad. And you could kind of see why. So you see Joshua Kelly coming in here on third down. And I try to truck because I'm an idiot. We still get a decent amount of Joshua Kelly, two for 26. And it's a good one. I don't believe we got the first down, but I wouldn't be against going for it if we didn't. Fourth and one. I guess I'm not against going for it if we didn't. It doesn't seem like a bad place to run the ball. Even though we haven't been good running the ball today. We do get the first. There we go. That's a good catch right there. I'm Hunter Henry. Like, did he just slip or something? What the hell? Like, look how he couldn't get up. He's gonna put our lead 17 to 3. So they're making us work for it on offense, as most teams don't. And I do like that. And on defense, we're, we're showing up in ways we should. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the way we're playing. We're not dominating like we usually do, but we don't really dominate early on in games anyways. It's not until like that mid-third quarter kicks in then we're kind of like the Warriors in that way. Except without the talent. We're talented, but we're not as talented. And we come away with the sack. I believe that's uh, Chenna Nawosa. Don't know why I said his name like that. There we go. And they're probably going to punt, which I probably wouldn't because we, we need points. So, we're going to streak basically three people on this play. See what it does. They're trying to switch. That's a smart switch. Coming away with the catch, Hunter Henry. Good catch. I'm gonna let the clock run down, not call a timeout just yet. Don't feel like we really need to. There we go, Hunter Henry on another catch and run. Hunter Henry having a very impressive day. Uh, second touchdown of the day, I believe. Catching them when they have linebackers and covers, and we're just gonna attack them every time because. We have the better player, and we might miss this field goal, and we definitely did. Not field goal, uh, extra point. Damn it! And I'm currently missing game five of the Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, I kind of want to, well, I'm, I'm going to be able to see it. This game is going to take that long. But I am missing a early portion of it. What score right now, actually? Did it not start? No, it starts at 8.30, and it's... Well, it's supposed to start. It's 8.42 right now, or something like that. And he holds on to that. They're going to call timeout. As a fire truck is passing by my house. 
And come away with the sack as we play perfect covers right there. And he throws it away. They do get a fourth down if I would. What? They didn't even call a flag. What? Roughing the. I'm not even sure if he was near the passer. That's crazy, bro. They just want to give him points here, don't they? Wow, okay. Okay. Impressive. We well, were supposed to go nothing on that one, but uh, that's that's tough. It's gonna put it 23 to 10. Probably aren't gonna score again in this half, and they receive ball, so that's a lot of momentum heading into the second half for them. And he breaks a tackle. Oh my gosh. And he has seven runs for 21, but it feels like he has over 100 yards. It really does. What are we running here? Like we almost ran engage eight on action. And he throws it away. Oh my god. He was about to get sacked by like three people. I'm about to say, someone has to bring him down there. Limbaugh Joseph on the sack. He had all day in the pocket. Good catch for Darius Jennings. He's going to see a lot of playing time this game because um, Mike Williams is out with a broken rib, I believe. That's bad. He still catches it, though, because they keep putting Von Miller on him. I don't necessarily agree with them having Von Miller on him all the time, but I will take advantage of it every time. Trust me on that. Can we outrun these guys? Not really. Picking up a decent amount of yards, though. There we go. On the two. Thought it would be on the one. Um, Hunter Henry is open on a lot of places, though. He just, like, refused to, um, cover him. Yeah, this is going to be a bad play. I'm not going to get touchdown on this. Actually, we might. We actually go in touch with a touchdown lady on Bell. Putting our lead, what is that, 30? Yeah, about to be 30 to 10. Not quite the way I would expect, but... They're just not covering, um... I want to say Travis Kelly or something, I don't know why I want to talk about Travis Kelsey. Um, but yeah, they're just not covering Hunter Henry. For some reason. It's, it's it's really strange. Like, I genuinely do not know why they do not want to cover Hunter Henry. Another sack. This time, Joey Bosa. This is where we needed to dominate on defensive end, and we force him to punt what feels like every time. Wow, they have to be kidding me. And he just pushed himself for like an extra five yards, and they end up getting the first down on okay. I call bullshit. Oh, come on. I feel like we don't get interceptions anymore. I mean, that's what comes with slider changes and whatnot. But, you know, it's all right. Pick him to first with Le'Veon. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just never fast enough for them outside cuts. Once again, Hunter Henry. What a day for him. Third <laughs> receiving. Almost had rushing. Third receiving touchdown. That puts it 37 to 10. And he still holds on. Did they just flip the play? Guess it worked. 
That's me. Oh my gosh. He is so hard to bring down. What another fucking catch by Hunter Henry? my god did he really like jump out come on man that's so annoying we're going for it you know who we're going to the main target today what a oh my god did he really drop that are you kidding me i just realized they were on the one and we didn't even try to blitz them There we go. Over Ingram on a sack. Haven't seen him on the sack list at all in recent um, weeks. Sam Martin in punt formation for the Broncos. Oh! What a play! Touchdown, LA. <laughs> Yo, we actually did that. He blocked the punt. Nah, this defense is incredible for that. I can't believe this team just did that. Holy shit. Oh, there we go. Channel Nawosu with the second sack of the game. Big shit by us. Here we go again. They're trying to hit these quick slants and we're just jumping in front of the route every time. There we go, Chris Harris. I believe that's like his sixth pick on the year. Fifth? Interesting. He could be in contention for defensive player of the year. Are they gonna put true clock on and get out of get out of this game? Because it's it's over. Yeah, very dominant on both sides of the ball. Crazy game offensively, even defensively, surprising me. We just dominated them, like really. So checking the end of the game stats, we did finish the game with 348 yards for Justin Herbert and three touchdowns. Very nice game from him. Um, 24 to 31 completed. That's amazing. That's really amazing. You see his quarterback rating is 145.6. Ridiculous. Uh, Drew Locke threw for 238 with two touchdowns, one interception. Should have had way more interceptions, honestly. So many dropped interceptions. Um, we had a good game running the ball, as you see. Uh, Le'Veon Bell rushed the ball for 46 yards and one touchdown. Just Zach rushed the ball 34 yards and one touchdown. And Joe Kelly rushed the ball 52 yards, uh, no touchdowns. And I feel like Melvin Gordon um, had a good game, but... I don't know. I felt like he had more yards than that. I don't know. Maybe it's just me tripping. Um, yards. Hunter Henry had a good game because they just could not cover him. They had, Le I would say, Levante Bell. I don't know why I want to say. Uh, whatever. <laughs> they had, what's his name? Von Miller on him a lot. And he would just burn him in coverage. 153 yards for three uh, touchdowns. Well, Gordon had the next most yards with John Ross at 59. Just so had 43, and you know, Mike Williams only having 38 yards because he went out early with a rib injury. Let's hope that's not a long lasting injury. So, we're going to be moving on to week 12 in the end of this episode, as we did most likely pass the challenge because we had about 300 plus yards with, um, what's the name that we did? Got 500 XP for all our QBs, so just Justin Herbert, which we care about. And how long is this injury going to be lasting? 
Five weeks. Oh my god. That's the end of the season. And Derwin James probably comes back oh, next year, honestly. We're moving on to next week where we'll be facing the Bills. And uh, we don't have no scenario. Are you serious? We could have got a scenario for Hunter Henry at least. He had another good game. He's been having quite a few good games. And we're 10 and 0. We're facing the 6 and 4 Bills. Um, still leading our division, obviously. And. Uh, are the Bears still have a good record? Yeah, the only teams that's competing with is the Bears and Ravens. Uh, Lions, Browns, Cowboys, Giants. Surprisingly, Giants. Um, Yeah, but that's going to do it for us. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like. Be sure to subscribe if you are enjoying the content, really. Hit the subscribe button. And if you're not enjoying, you never know. You might enjoy down the road. I think I'm uploading some good content. But if not, let me know. Let me know. I, I, I could improve. Maybe. Maybe not. But anyways, that's going to do it for us. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. But until next video, peace. That's for all of them nights that I double tap girls just for me to keep capping and don't cop it. I drained all my energy. Can't have no niggas who don't help themselves. That shit not proper. A couple of y'all getting left with you lazy. Yeah, I ain't trying to carry around nobody. No claim on the bitches. I got in my body count. No, I'm not marrying nobody.